to evaluate how do you engage communities in a systematic way that's reliable and repeatable but produces bespoke services um, in, the, in communities and furthermore engages those communities in the delivery of those services in a way that may well, um, that should save money and makes best use of your limited budgets and which develops um, the integrated and co-produced services and there's been a lot of talk about co-production and community budgets and, and we have a principle at Turning Point which is very simple, we start from the ground up, we, we never design policy or responses to policy based on theory, it's based on practice, we, do, we, know, what, we know what we do if you see what we, we say what we do. So we, we spent time in neighbourhoods trying to understand how you engage with individuals about what they've got, what they haven't got, what they need, and how it needs to be presented. Yeah? Because that's critical. I mean, certainly in, in health and social care, as in housing, you know, half the impact of a service is its use. People don't use it. There's no chance of having any impact at all, basically. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to design it for use. And what we discovered was, and I know that most of you know this, we discovered that um, if you can, if you can, if you can engage people, if you can train them, <coughs> and if you can, actually, if you can give, you can value the knowledge of their community. Actually, you get a massive plus. That's how you build resilience. You know. So it seems really simple, but almost a blinding glimpse of the obvious. It doesn't happen that we give people who are the, at the sharp end of the inverse care law, i.e. the law that states that those people in need of, of help most tend to get it least, if we value what they know as opposed to disenfranchise them by telling them what we know and telling them that uh, what the way they describe their lives and the services that are delivered has to be reinterpreted in the language of the cognoscenti, you take away, you, you disempower rather than empower. It's not, it works this isn't, uh, I think, something that only works with poor people, it also works with you. Funnily enough, the thing that most people value in their interactions with other human beings is being understood. Yes. So, we, we've developed a, a methodology, which Gemma is about to talk to you about, which is reliable in that it consists of the same, same things every time. It is repeatable and scalable, but results in bespoke services that are relevant to the community where we are working. Does that make sense? Good, right, in that case then, um, I'm going to hand over to Gemma who's going to take